Hi, it's Tom from Green Shorts DIY, and today I want to show you how you can make what I think is the simplest and least expensive worm composting bin out there. I call it the two bucket worm composter, and I think I can do it in under 10 minutes. Stay tuned. To make the two bucket worm composter, we're going to use two five gallon buckets, as the name would imply, and a lid that I happen to have around and some old screen. The buckets are ones that I've salvaged. So this is an old paint bucket and a sheetrock bucket. And this screen I actually pulled out of a door that was being thrown away. So all these materials I actually got for free. Now if you went out and bought these materials, you'd probably spend about you know two and a half to three dollars for each bucket and maybe a buck twenty-five for the lid. You can actually find small screen patches that are used to repair screens, and you can use those for your vent holes instead of a big a bunch of screen like this. So you don't need to buy a whole roll. Tools for the project include a drill, a half inch or larger spade bit or hole saw, a quarter inch or larger drill bit, sandpaper, waterproof glue or adhesive caulk, and a box knife or scissors. Because I'm using salvaged paint buckets, I'm adding a clean out step using vinegar and paper towels. Thicker areas of paint will simply pull off, but I'm using the sandpaper to remove any stubborn residue before wiping down with the vinegar. Don't let the low price of this composter fool you. This is a very effective worm composter. Right, I've been using this design longer than I've been using my two tote worm bin system. Still like this. I had a request for a less expensive worm composting option, and so I'm making this video so you can do it yourself. Let's get started. All right, so I've got my two buckets prepped, I got my tools and materials lined up, and now we're gonna start the clock. The time code in the right-hand corner is real time, but I'll be speeding the video up so you don't have to watch it in real time. First, I'll be adding eight vent holes with my three-quarter inch spade bit. Oh, but doesn't like staying in. So I've got eight holes here, and now I'm going to cut eight pieces of screen. First, I'm going to use my sandpaper to roughen up the surface here. I'll pull any burrs off. It's got a rough little texture on there. It's going to make this a better gluing surface for our screens. I'm going to cut eight pieces of screen. This is a little beat up, so I have to just avoid the nasty spots, which is fine because it's free. So I'm cutting a strip a couple inches wide here that's going to be wide enough to extend beyond the edges of my hole enough that I can get a nice strip of caulk around here to anchor it down. I'm also going to cut off this little curvy part because that'll want to cause trouble. Look at that. It's like I measured it. Next, I'll add a healthy bead of the adhesive waterproof caulk around each hole, staying back about a quarter inch from the edge. I'm just going to take a screen and press it in. Gonna pull the caulk back away from the hole. Get a nice adhesive surface and not show through to the top. It's not the end of the world if it does, but I like keeping it clean. Add a little bit more here just because I like keeping these edges all the way down. The more adhesive surface, the better. Right? 
All right, so we're gonna set this aside. Here's a quick tip off the clock. Set the lid in the sun so the adhesive caulk can cure. The last step, we're gonna switch drill bits. Get the angle down a little bit more here. We're basically gonna drill holes in the bottom of this bucket. And we're done. Just that simple. Okay, so I didn't hit my 10 minute window, but if you figure for camera moves and reconnecting drill bits, it was probably about 10. Actually, there is one more step I wanna do. The way the worm bin functions is we're gonna put our compostables and our worms in the top bucket. And we're gonna run water through that. The holes in the bucket allow the water to drain into the bottom bucket. That's our compost tea. That's one of the best outputs we get from our worm composting bin. We can mix that with water in a one-to-one -one ratio and we've got a great organic liquid fertilizer. The worm castings are also an output of the worm bin and they're going to be a slower byproduct. The worms take a little bit longer to sort of digest everything into castings so I don't get as much worm castings out of my bin as I do worm tea. One thing I've noticed with my worms in this particular system is that sometimes they're gonna find their way through the holes in the bottom of the bucket into the lower bucket which is gonna have liquid in it. And unfortunately, when they get down there, they can't get out and they drown. So one thing I'm gonna try in this system is I'm gonna put a layer of screen in the bottom of this bucket just to provide a little extra layer of protection and keep the worms from going through. Now they could probably get under that screen because um, I'm not going to glue it down. I want to be able to rinse this thing out when I transfer the worms or cycle it out. So I'm going to just cut a circle that sits right down in the bottom of this bucket and I'll see if that helps keep worms from getting through and drowning. So I'm actually going to cut a rough square here out of the screen. And I'm just going to hand cut this to match the bottom of the bucket. This is a extra step. If you end up just buying screen patches and you don't want to buy a big piece of screen, you could probably do just fine without having this in there. I'm going to give this thing a test and see if it helps keep worms from harming themselves. All right, so there's our circle. I will set that in the bottom of this bucket. I will do another video on how to install the worms into this bucket. In fact, I just got a new shipment of worms yesterday from Uncle Jim's Worm Farm, an online resource. I'll have a link to their website in the description below, as well as a 10% off coupon for online orders. Now, full disclosure, I don't make any money off that coupon. I just love the service I get from Uncle Jim's. Well, there you have it, the two bucket worm composter. And I made this thing for less than a dollar. When you figure I found most of these materials, the adhesive was probably the only thing I had to pay for. And I've got a lot left for another project. Worm composting is an excellent practice because it reduces what you put in the trash and then turns those materials and kitchen scraps into super rich organic garden soil and organic liquid fertilizer in the worm tea. If you bought those products at the home improvement store, you'd be spending a ton of money. Our mission here at Green Shorts is to help you see green so you can be green and save a little green by doing it yourself. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video and subscribe for new videos every Friday.